What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So back from Tampa, had an absolute blast. That's why the weekly rotation is coming so late because I was bringing so many fragrances and I wasn't sure what I was going to wear leading into the weekend. So I couldn't pre-record it and I was already bringing like a dozen fragrances plus ended up getting some stuff while I was there. So I couldn't bring all the stuff for the rotation. So we're at week number 215 in the weekly rotation and it's a great rotation as per usual, at least in my humble opinion. We've got some variety here. We've got some heavier stuff, some spicier stuff. A little bit of fresh stuff here and there. Don't get me wrong, but it was a good one and I want to talk to you about it. Stay tuned. Starting off on Sunday, I decided to go with the recently sold out and no longer available, unfortunately discontinued, TLTG Reviews and Zaharoff Evening Mystique. That's right, Evening Mystique no longer available. Last of the Mohicans to go ahead and sell out from the Zed Creators 2.0. It was real fun, but it has come to an end. So for any of you that did get a bottle, I appreciate your support. I hope you enjoy it, cherish it. Get some love and some use and some fun and some compliments and all that good stuff. Some great wearing experiences out of it. Any of you that just got to try it, I hope it was for you. At least you got the experience. If you didn't like it, hey, that's okay. Not everything's for everyone, but thank you, George Zaharoff, for allowing me to do this a second time. This is phenomenal. To me, anyways, of course it's phenomenal to me, right? So a little aromatic and spicy at the top. A little bit of a vegetal feel because carrot seeds pretty prominent here, coriander, cypress, uh, but you get a lot of frankincense. We got olibanum and frankincense, so on the smoky side, the Florentine iris here isn't overdone, but very prominent, uh, and then it starts to get into a very woodsy vetiver, a creamy patchouli. You have a little bit of a musky tone. We have some resinous balsamic tones to this one, just a beautiful, elegant fragrance that I'm so glad was able to come to life and I uh, didn't wear anything out of the shower, but it's always nice to revisit it. My creation was Zaharoff, this TLTG Reviews and Zaharoff Evening Mystique. So on Monday and on Tuesday, I wore both of these during the day and in the evenings out the shower. I decided why not, let's roll with it again. Now this is my favorite version of this particular DNA. It does not get the kind of love I feel it deserves because the original even the EDP, and especially the Elixir, get the shine. When it comes to Sauvage, this is my 200 milliliter bottle of Dior Sauvage Parfum. I love my Dior Sauvage Parfum. This is amazing. I'm so glad I got it when I did. I paid 136 for this 200 ml a few years ago from Fragrance. That 200 ml from Discount is running around 190 nowadays. Price is totally different. So in hindsight, this was a steal. I don't even know if you can get 100 ml for that price. Maybe 100 ml for that price now. Beautifully rich, smoky, resinous, warm, woodsy, sweet. Little hit of the ambroxan, even they don't, though they don't list it with a touch of citrus. It's polished. It's refined. It still smells like Sauvage, whereas Sauvage Elixir, pretty big departure. Amazing fragrance, but big departure from the original DNA. I, I love this so much. This is one of my favorite parfum versions of a fragrance. This is my favorite Sauvage. This is one of my favorite blues. And somebody, last time I said that, I was like, I don't consider it blue. Base DNA is a blue fragrance. It's still shower gel at its core. It's just a more refined, warm, smooth, slightly resinous and smoky shower gel fragrance. <laughs> so I know that's kind of odd. And anosmia, nose fatigue, olfactive fatigue, nose blind, whatever you want to call it, is a real issue, if you will, with this one. I deal with it. Uh, my nose will wear out pretty quickly to it, and then it comes to life a few hours later. It smells like I just sprayed it. This stuff's pretty monstrous on my skin. I like to wear this year-round, even though it's better suited for cooler weather and for evenings. I've worn this on hikes in the summer, you know, lunch in the spring. There's never a bad time for this fragrance, in my opinion. And it perform like I said, it performs fantastic for me. During the day, both Monday and Tuesday, Dior Sauvage Parfum. Then we got the shower. We freshen things up a little bit both days. I went with FOMO Parfums of Fraghead's Asylum, which is their take, a more woodsy take, on Elysium Parfum Cologne. There's an oud note listed, but it doesn't smell like oud. It doesn't have any funk. It doesn't really have much. Uh, if anything, I would say maybe pencil shavings because it's a little bit of a dry, woody smell. 
but has the citrus, the metallic tones, all that good stuff. I wouldn't call it spot on to Elysium Parfum Cologne, but pretty close. It's a good one. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. That's why I wanted to rock it again two nights in a row. I figured, what the hell? I got it out. It's right there. Let's spray it again. And now that I think about it, I shaved a little while ago. I got my Sauvage aftershave splash on. I can't smell it anymore. Might still be there. Probably still there. It's been a couple hours. Might not be there. But I go nose blind to that too. Like big time. Like really, really fast. But it's been on for a few hours. So it's an aftershave splash. It's probably gone. So what the hell. I went ahead and refreshed with this. This stuff smells really good. All three of the FOMO Parfums fragrances that are available at the recording of this. Especially Gary's Den. Their Dior Homme Parfum Twist, because it's a spicier take on Dior Homme Parfum. Beautiful stuff. Their take on Grand Soir, really, really good. I would say this is probably my second favorite. It's not spot on Elysium, it's Elysium with a twist, and it's really, really good. Decent performance, too. Six, seven hours on my skin. Out the shower both days, a Fragate's Asylum. Homo Parfums. Now, moving into Wednesday. During the day, um, I kind of look at this one the same way I look at Percival. So, Parfums de Molly Percival, in my opinion is the ultimate fragrance if you like Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce. It's the highest quality smell I've gotten of that DNA. It's the best performing. And I would say the same thing about Arabian Oud, Arabian Night Silver, when it pertains to Rosa Sloam and Dolce & Gabbana K, and even Coach Open Road, even though that's a little bit more on the peppery side, it's still a twist on that group of fragrances and that scent profile. This falls into, like, closer to Rosa Sloam, uh, where it has a little bit more of refinement. Obviously, this is the highest quality of the bunch. This is the best performing of the bunch. It's the best one, but it's also the most expensive one. Not crazy expensive, though. It has that beautiful, beautiful sweet geranium, bright aromatic juniper type of smell, a little bit of greens, some soft woods. It's a very clean, everyday wear. Fantastic. A little bit of extra citrus going on here that you don't get in the others. Like I said, it's it's superior, it's more complex, it's a deeper fragrance, but very much a relatable scent profile to that family of fragrances. The Dolce & Gabbana K-Line, which I haven't tried the Parfum that got announced yet, but as far as the EDT and the EDP, and then more so closer related to Rocha Sloam. Uh, this is really good. Really, really good, great, versatile, inoffensive, mass-appealing fragrance. When you hear the name Arabian Oud, you're going to think it's a very Middle Eastern style, Oriental, resinous kind of fragrance. Not the case here. Very, very mass appealing. Dare I say, blue fragrance type of deal. A niche blue. I'm just going to say it is because it, it, to me it is. It's a niche blue. Even though the silver's in the name, silver is definitely not its game. It's a blue fragrance uh, that I quite like. I'm glad I took a shot on this one. It's good stuff during the day. Arabian Ouds, Arabian Night, silver. And then we got the shower. Speaking of... The Sauvage Aftershave Splash that we were talking about. On this day in particular, I had a good shave. You see that juice level dropping? I use it again tonight, which is going to be on a totally different rotation because it's it's Tuesday night at the recording of this. So it's for a totally different week. But, man, so like this, after I move these fragrances that are for this rotations video, because after the video, after I do the links and everything in the description when I'm uploading, after the editing and rendering, I usually pick them up. Well, in this case, this one's got to stay in position. Just kind of slide over a little bit. Because um, for those of you who don't know, what I wear throughout the week, I put right here on the edge, you know, to the closest edge of the desk. I have a system in place when it comes to this stuff. But as far as this, this is my favorite aftershave. It's my go-to. Lately, been the only thing I've been wearing. Like the last few weeks, every time I shave... It's been this. It's been my go-to. It smells incredible. My wife loves when I use this after I shave. It's great. You got to hunt it down online. You can find it on eBay, places like that. I go nose blind almost immediately to it, but for a little bit I can smell it. It smells great, and it does linger. My wife always lets me know, ooh, you're using that aftershave again because she knows when I shave. Um, beautiful stuff. Very much uh, kind of the freshness of the cool spray. Without exactly being the cool spray, because it's an aftershave, so it's a lower oil concentration than the EDT. Man, it's good stuff. It's my favorite aftershave. Out the shower, had a shave with Dior Sauvage aftershave. Moving into Thursday, this fragrance very much, uh, you heard my voice drop off. I'm still hoarse, because I went to the Royal Rumble, I went to Undertaker's One Dead Man Show, I went to Monday Night Raw. A lot of hollering, a lot of chanting, a lot of sing-alongs, a lot of boos, a lot of cheers, all that good stuff. So my voice is still a little 
under the weather, if you will. But Ajmal 5 is very much like vintage Lanoui Delhomme. And it's better quality. It has great depth and performance. It's a deeper scent. I don't know if it's just because the oil quality is better, higher oil concentration, whatever. It smells like Lanoui Delhomme, but the one you would want over actual Lanoui Delhomme. That is so good. That is so good. It's that beautiful, slightly soapy aromatic, but very powdery, spicy cardamom. A little on the woodsy side. There's a little bit of like a fruity tone that doesn't overtake the fragrance, but clearly there. There's subtle nuanced differences. Very, very subtle. But it's clear as day. This is their version of Lana Wee and they did a phenomenal job. I would strongly advise getting this one uh, or checking it out. I don't know where to find it online. This was sent to me by the brand. I did a full review. I have a giveaway actively going on still. We've got a few days left of the recording. This, if you want to check it out, go check out. Just type in TLTG Ajmal 5, which is V, Roman numeral. Uh, Ajmal V. And it'll come up. Check it out. Enter the giveaway if you're continental the United States only. Still a little bit of time. But I, it's not on their website. I did a search. I can't find it anywhere. I've had a bunch of people ask me, where can I get it? Where can I get it? They sent it to me. <laughs> I ended up liking it. Fortunately for them, I guess, that's what, when they send you something, anybody sends you a fragrance, they're hoping you're going to like it when you make content with it, right? Uh, duh. But I, I wish I had an answer for you guys. Like, this is me addressing it publicly, basically. Because it is good. It is good. I would strongly recommend checking this one out if you can. Uh, I just haven't found it online. I really don't know where to get it. So next time I have an interaction with them, I will definitely let you guys know. I will ask and see what kind of answer I get. But if you want Lanoui de Lome on steroids in many ways, because it's not an overwhelming beast, but it's much stronger than current formulations. And it smells pretty spot on. Quality is a little bit better. You're going to want to check out Ajmal 5. Good, good stuff. Then I got the shower. I was at Louis Vuitton this past weekend, and I smelled Afternoon Swim again. And this is pretty spot on. Yeah, Afternoon Swim's a little bit better quality, but Quattro from North Stag, Paris Corner. This is good. This is really good. The color's fitting. It's a bright, watery orange, clean musk, pool day kind of afternoon swim. Yep. By the pool kind of feeling. Ultra fresh, mouth-watering orange. I love how this fragrance smells. Love, love, love how this fragrance smells. Did a full review on it. This entire collection is fantastic. I've reviewed three of the four thus far. I need to work on the LV Imagination clone next, Trois, which is the third one. This is Quattro, number four. Uh, number one, uh, uh, front, French, uh, number one, is, um, that's the one that's Tigar, yeah, which I think is my favorite. It's the one I spray the most. I thought it was going to be this one because I spray this one a lot. I wear this one more, but I randomly spray that one the most. Du, number two, is their Leighton clone. Chef's Kiss. Quattro's amazing. Trois, Trois, the Imagination clone I have not spent enough time with. I remember liking it, but liking it the least of the four for the first impression. I haven't been spending enough time with it. I'm going to be reviewing it probably within the next week. This whole collection's good, guys. It just is, my opinion. Buy at your own risk. But you want a great clone of Afternoon Swim? Here you go, out the shower. Quattro. In the North Stag Expressions Collection from Bear's Corner. Moving into Friday, it was travel day. I was driving to Tampa. And um, it's almost a six-hour drive with stops and everything. About a six-hour drive. So I thought to myself, self, what do you want to smell the whole time you're in the car for six hours? What's something delicious just intoxicating, that you haven't worn in a while, that you'd be cool with just smelling pretty much almost nonstop unless your nose goes blind for six hours. The answer to that question was Grand Soir from Maison Francis Kirk John. I haven't worn this in a long time. This is still one of the best amber vanillas of all time. It is a monstrous performer on my skin. It lingers. It's rich. It's warm and creamy. It's a little powdery. This is intoxication in its truest form as far as aromas are concerned. It's so intoxicating, alluring, cozy, cuddly, 
it's great for anyone that wants to spend the money and get it and have a just simplified yet wonderful experience. It's a very straightforward fragrance. Benzoin Vanilla Amber. It's the main thing you can expect. It's nothing complicated here. It doesn't change drastically. It's vanillic. It's a little aromatic. It's rich, warm, creamy, sweet, and powdery. And not overly sweet. The vanilla here is lovely. It's just so good. It's Francis Kirk John. Bravo. It's so good. It is so good. It's one of the two bottles I own from him. I've tried several fragrances from MFK. And uh, this is definitely a bottle-worthy fragrance. Obviously, try before you buy. That goes with all fragrances, but especially when we're talking expensive niche. And this is just magnificent. If you like amber and vanilla, one of the best ever. Really one of the best ever. A An absolute must-try if you like that olfactive profile during the day on travel day. And I didn't have out-the-shower fragrances for this trip. But on travel day on Friday, MFK Grand Soir. On Saturday, WWE Royal Rumble 2024. Um, I didn't want to wear anything real heavy. I wanted some performance, though. I wanted to spray something and still, if I want to get a whiff of it, because I like to smell me. I like to smell me more than any other person on the planet likes to smell me. I'm certain of that when I say it. And I went with Bertha Venus from Argos. I was very torn on what to wear. I brought this with a purpose, and I figured, why not? It was one of the freshest fragrances I brought, but it's deep, and it's powerful. It lasted, I, I could detect it 13 hours, because I did a video at like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning after the rumble with barely a voice. This is better than what that was. That was just the channel update, like, hey guys, I don't have time to do a video, but I wanted to let you know, because it was supposed to be this. The next morning was supposed to be this video. <laughs> Weekly rotation. I normally do, put that out on Sundays. But this is... Fruity, a little citric, floral, rosy. Uh, it's very much like a fresh take on Adonis Awakens. Any of you that have tried Adonis Awakens from the brand, which is a lot of people's favorite. It's the second favorite for me. I'm a Triumph Abacus guy. Pick your EDP, pick your x straight. I'd pick the x straight, but the DNA in general, Triumph Abacus. But that's my number two, and this is, I think, my number three. I love wearing this one. This is my favorite of his newest releases besides Triumph Abacus x straight. Because uh, it's just the freshest of the house. It is marketed for women. Totally unisex. Don't let this scare you away. Get a sample and try it. See if it's for you. It's totally for me. It's totally for me. There's a little bit of sea salt, a little bit of chocolate, just a touch. I don't get a whole lot until it starts to get deeper and dry down. A nice uh, woody feel that's not uh, too rich, not sharp, but also not super creamy. Just a gorgeous fragrance. So for the Royal Rumble on Saturday to wrap the week up, one of the best and more unique fresh fragrances I've ever smelled is Argos Birth of Venus. Well, that was this past week's rotation. Like a couple of days ago, this video should have came out. But given the situation, I was gone for five days. When you count driving out there Friday and driving back here on Tuesday, it was uh, five days. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. A lot of cool stuff went down. Got to hang out with my boy Jordan, the Nigerian giant Omos from WWE. Hung at the hotel. Met a lot of wrestlers at the hotel. Met a lot of people. That was great. Had a great time with George Atkinson, the fragrance apprentice, and his girlfriend Megan. Uh, they flew down here to go to the event with me. Um, shot a beautiful, a fun blind smelling rate. Definitely check that video out here on the channel with both of them. We hit the mall the following day. Hit Neiman's. Hit Louis Vuitton. Um, hit Nordstrom. Ate lunch there, just had a great day. It was great to kick it with, with Jordan. You guys ever get an opportunity to meet the Nigerian giant Omas and Jordan? He's a peach. Giant teddy bear, wonderful human. Loves his fragrances, loves his Zerzhoff fragrances. Big niche guy. Big guy, big niche guy. Um, and shout outs to George Atkinson, the fragrance apprentice. Fuck me. Wow. Any of you that watch him, you totally caught that. Um, ooh, speaking of. For those of you in Patreon, gang, <laughs> hand delivered. <laughs> so any of you in his Patreon, gang, there you go. I have my official, fuck me, wow, Gordon Ramsay, fragrance apprentice, mad genius, cook, fragrance enthusiast, whatever you want to call it. I just figured I'd show you guys because I'm going to wear that shirt randomly. I'm so glad he brought it. So again, great time. Thank you guys for watching. Comment down below what your... Your rotation looked like this past week. I said, I know, you know, I know this is a little late to the game for what we normally do. 
circumstances dictated it. What can I say? But I still deliver. Might be a little late on it, but we still delivered. We got the weekly rotation done. Let me know what your rotation looked like last week up to now, the last couple of days. I love reading those comments. I'm good with whatever you want to put about your rotation. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of the stuff I wore this past week, and you give them a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.